The multicolored lights coming from the disco ball are a dead giveaway. This isn't your typical car. And they have the disco ball and the music. It's a whole experience. In fact, it's not even a car at all. They're completely street legal. Um, they have lithium ion batteries. They're completely electric. It's Charlotte's newest mode of transportation, guest carts, which stands for green, easy, safe transportation. Think of it like a high-end golf cart with seating for six. It provides an easy and environmentally friendly way to get around town. These are the, the quote-unquote Teslas of the, the street legal, low-speed vehicle. I saw it as a great opportunity. Um, I, I'm a native from Charlotte, so I thought it would be a great time to be able to provide safe transportation to our uptown and south end areas throughout the city. The service launched in December and will serve uptown, south end, Plaza Midwood, and Noda anywhere around the uptown area. For us, we're in a concentrated three to five mile urban core radius. So we just, and we focus on that and strictly just go in there. And our trips are five to 15 minutes from point A to point B. Right now, Guest Carts runs primarily on Friday and Saturday nights, also during Hornets and Panthers games, or whenever there's a big event happening uptown. And just like so many other things these days, riders can get it through an app the guest passenger app. One big opportunity for us will be when the uh, soccer team comes, so we'll operate on those Saturdays as well. Um, so just be tuned into our social media account so you can see the different times when we'll operate in addition to uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Well, I saw them on social media, and I also saw some news stories about it, so I downloaded the app, and then it's free, so I thought that was really, really cool. So um, we, th we thought we'd use it to go to the game tonight for the Hornets game. Wait, did she just say it's free? Yep, that's right. Riding in the guest cart is absolutely free. People was like, where is this coming from? Is it free? What's the catch? Is it really free? You know, we had to explain to them, yes, it is free. So there's got to be a catch somewhere, right? We tell them there's no catch. We just want you to, we just want to transport you safe, make sure you have fun, and make sure you get to, make sure you have fun and get to your destination safely. The reason that it's free is it's all paid for by advertisers. It's one company per vehicle, um, so they're the ones that are covering the cost and there, that's the reason why it's free for the uh, consumer. The service was created by South Mac High School and UNC Charlotte graduate Patrick Dye. He, along with wife Lauren, a former Cincinnati Bengals cheerleader, launched guest carts in the other Queen City, Cincinnati, which is where they live now. My wife and I, we lived in the city, and there's different districts in Cincinnati, same way in Charlotte. You got Noda, you've got, you know, Plaza Midwood, you've got this, you've got, you know, Uptown. South End, well, we got sick and tired of every time we wanted to go somewhere, spend 10 bucks each way. Uber and Lyft can get, can get so expensive just to go a short distance. So this is free, so it seems like a win-win. Things started really taking off this past year, with guests opening up franchises in multiple U.S. cities. So we have Cincinnati, Detroit, Chicago, Denver, Charlotte, Atlanta, Las Vegas. But within the next six months, we'll have Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Seattle, Phoenix, and Scottsdale. Each franchise is locally owned and operated. Startup costs, including the carts, can exceed $100,000. But it's that wraparound advertising, a moving billboard, if you will, that pays the costs. And ultimately, we want to make sure our franchisee is making money, and we're making money. Um, and not every city's the right fit, so we'll tell them, hey, sorry, before you even dive into this, no, it's not going to work. The carts go up to 25 miles per hour and run 8 to 10 hours on a full battery charge. The owners try to create a fun experience for riders, hence the light up disco ball. They love the fact that, you know, we have the music aspect of where, you know, we let them choose their music. They love the spinning disco ball on the inside. By the end of the year, the hope in Charlotte is to have at least a half dozen guest carts up and running, if not more. So there's a good chance you'll be seeing these things all around the uptown area. We're looking to bring six to eight carts to the city, which will provide numerous uh, job opportunities um, for drivers as well as mechanics. Um, just anybody looking for a part-time job or looking for additional jobs within the city. I never thought it would get this big this fast, uh, but we knew we had we knew we had a viable product. Um, but now it's all about execution. I mean, now to the point where we're hiring um, board members. We're bringing on board members, we're bringing on an executive team. So if you're in and around Uptown and tired of paying for Ubers, Lyfts, or taxis, and public transportation doesn't get you to your final destination, your solution could already be on the street right in front of you. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Churches reporting. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.